with Angel Creations and I have an exciting Dollar Tree haul for you today. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I hope that you'll consider hitting the subscribe button and um, go ahead and hit that bell and YouTube will let you know every time I upload a video. And if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up, please. That would help me so much. Now, today I have an exciting, exciting Dollar Tree haul for you. Um, some of it is left over from a recent past visit to the Dollar Tree because I am trying not to go out too often to the Dollar Tree because in Florida, where I live, we're kind of seeing a big um, increase of the coronavirus pandemic again, so I'm trying to be really careful. I'm not going to stay home. I am going to wear my mask and wash my hands like usual, but I am going out a lot less because of it. So some of this is from prior uh, shopping and some of this is current because I had to go bring in some face masks for the Dollar Tree manager and um, of course I had to shop while I was there. So let me take a quick sip of my drink. Okay, I don't know where to begin. Um, I guess um, first I'm gonna tell you that I'm not a good makeup artist, but I'm wearing some new makeup today. And I was so excited to find it that I got me one and I got some for the giveaway. You wanna know what it is? Okay, finally, my Dollar Tree is carrying the hard candy makeup. This is the 24 karat gold highlighter, which I am wearing. It makes it a little sun-kissed. Um, I have it all over, actually, because I don't know how to do it. But anyways, it's the hard candy. I know everybody's been looking. I have been looking for the hard candy makeup. Um, I guess I haven't looked it up, but I guess it is an expensive item in Target, uh, other stores, wherever. Ulta, I know, is one of them. So I was excited to find that, so I got one for you in the giveaway and one for myself and I love it. So look, I'm gonna put this right now is going in the giveaway bucket. It's filling up. All right, and then not only did I find hard candy highlighter, but I found the hard candy Plumping serum. Can you see that? I don't know if it'll focus. But this is in the color. Hold on, I remember I saw it on here. Okay. It's in the color of Starlight. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's on my lips. And it's a really pretty natural. There's nothing else on my lips except, because I got one for me. This is what it comes out like. And here, let me put it on my hand. It's very, very subtle. Just a little, probably hard to show, but. Very subtle, my kind of color. And also, it is a plumping serum, so it makes your lips a little tingly. I love this. I'm going to get more because what if I love this so much? And six months from now, I'm out of it and I can't find it again. So, next time I go, I'll check. We did have quite a bit of it at my Dade City Dollar Tree, though. So, that's going in the giveaway basket as well. One for you and one for me. So exciting. I love this hard candy find. I'm really thrilled. You know, this takes the place of so many things in my makeup bag that this morning I took a whole bunch of little compact, you know, eyeshadow and uh, 
I kept my blush and stuff, but this, this is just amazing stuff. So I'm so excited to find that because I've been watching a lot of people haul it and I didn't have any, any in my store and I thought I might not get it because that's, you know, not all Dollar Trees are created equally. All right, so moving right along, since we're on personal products, I also found this foot mask. I have used these foot masks in the past and they are excellent. I just, at night, when I'm watching YouTube videos or editing my stuff, I put these on my feet. They come in a bag. You just slip it on your foot I like to put a sock on over mine because it makes all the liquid stay close to my feet and skin and your feet come out like baby skin when this is done. For a dollar, this is an at home pedicure right in your own living room. So I, I love these. I've already done one at the beginning of the summer and I'm going to do a second one um, going in, well now, I'm going to go do it now. You know, I, I love these. These are, these are so much fun and way cheaper than pedicure. Okay, another cute find is this little bandana looking headband. It has wire so you can, you can move these uh, little tail things. Actually, it even slides. You can put this tail thing anywhere you want. I like it kind of on the side there. And uh, let me go ahead and take this headband tag off. And I'll stick it on my hair, just, I have short hair, it's not going to hold my hair back. I just got it for cuteness. How cute is that? Huh? Where's my little, let's see, okay. Just stick it in my hair. And how cute is that? I think that would be so cute. Yeah, so I got that. It looks like a bandana. It's very well made. And how cute! They have these in purple, pink, blue, white. I think that might be all my Dollar Tree store had. So I picked up the pink. And then my last really, really good personal find was these. I have also saw these hauled and I was like, oh, I need me to get some of these. My Dollar Tree finally has the bum equipment socks. So, of course, I got one in pink and one in white and gray. And the thing about these is they are all cushiony. They are so soft. It says cushion sole, arch support, breathable moisture control, bum equipment. And these are the quarter socks. So they just stick up this much over your sneaker, which I like. Um, I, tend, I tend to get the little lower ones and they, my sneakers eat them, but soft, I wish you could feel how squishy these, they feel almost like they're infused with gel, but it doesn't say that, so, but anyways, exciting, Bum Equipment is a really good brand name for a dollar, and they have them in men's and children's sizes, so run to the Dollar Tree and get yourself some bum equipment socks. They're great. They're actually great. It's a little warm here in Florida, so a little moist. <laughs> the only other thing I got for personal was um, some white rain hairspray unscented. Um, this is quite a hairdo, so I have to uh, hairspray it. All right. Now, that's it for personal stuff, okay? The other exciting finds I have is, I guess I'll go, this is kind of personal, I guess. Um, I found these bath towels. I saw Jerry Ann Henson uh, haul these, and I just thought they were so adorable. It's something I could probably make with my Cricut, but for a dollar, I couldn't pass these up. When I went to my Dollar Tree to give my uh, store manager some more masks, I saw them hanging and I said, that's it. I have to have them. They're just too adorable. And this is what I'm talking about. Is that a nice bath towel or what? And I have black, um, I have black, I guess I'll say trim and accessory, not 
accessories, but my bathroom has black in it too. It's very country and it actually is decorated in a um, outhouse uh, design, but how cute. I just had, I have a little, you know, hand towel holder in my bathroom. So I decided to pick up four while I was there. I just love them. I mean, for a dollar, that looks high end to me. So anyways, I had to pick up four of those for my bathroom and I am so excited about them. I really am. My sister told me that, okay, and this is in the color black. They look kind of blue on camera, but it is black. And my sister told me that black is hard because it shows all the fuzz balls and um, stuff. So maybe I'll wash these by themselves. I don't know. Maybe I'll wash them with just all black things. I don't know. But I just love them. So I picked those up. And then I have a few more things. I just picked up some pencils for Nate the Great. He wanted pencils. Um for his back to school box. So I'm working on back to school box with him. Got a bunch of stuff, but you'll be bored to see it all. So I picked up some pencils. I forgot to take them out of my Dollar Tree haul. So pencils for Nate the Great. And then we're moving on to crafts. Um, I was thrilled. I've seen these in the past, but whoop. I was never I have never seen this one exactly last fall they had a couple of different designs in these um, I think one was maybe buffalo check black and white buffalo check I can't remember what the other one was um, and I loved them but I did not find I did not have a creative craft in mind for them when I saw them this year I found one in it's in the faux wood and I have, um, and it says, what does it say? Oh, it's upside down. Harvest Blessings, which is cute on its own, right? It comes with a cute little hanging thing in the back. I'm going to probably pop that piece out and use this this way. So stay tuned for a craft using this Welcome Harvest thing. But you could just, and they have other designs um they have different designs on the front and different designs on the back i mean on the sides so i just liked this one because it was full wood and it was different than all the others so i picked up that to do a craft stay tuned fall though i'm not ready for fall i'm still doing summer crafts i'm always a day late and a dollar short i don't know why i just i'm not ready it's a hundred degrees here in florida i'm still in flip-flops I'm not ready to decorate for fall and I know that's doing I know that's going against the grain because everybody's starting to do fall decor and even Christmas in July and I'm just not there this year but anyway I picked up um, this puzzle and the reason I picked up this puzzle is because the back is all wood and I wanted a piece of wood this size I don't know what size it is, but then how awesome is it going to be to use these puzzle pieces? For instance, at 4th of July, we could have painted these stars and used them. You can make magnets or picture some magnets out of these wood shapes. The, the circle ones, I don't know if you were with me the other day when I did a, a birdhouse, a welcome birdhouse craft for my door, and I could have used painted one of these circles as my my birdhouse hole so there's like so many things in this one dollar piece puzzle that i can use so excited about that i'm just going to flip it over use this side for my craft so stay tuned for that that was great i found two more well actually they have a lot more of these but i bought two more of these because i'm gonna try you should stay tuned for this too. I'm going to try to make a two-tier tray out of these. I have a couple of these for my sister and I, and they just have stars here, cut out stars, but I thought this looked more like a little office tray thing, and so I'm going to try to, you'll have to stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to make a two-tier shelf out of this. 
I've seen it done. Jamie, um, the crafty DIY guy, go check him out. He does awesome crafts too. Um, I think I already mentioned Jerry Ann Henson. Go check her out. She's awesome too. Um, Heidi Sombol is awesome. You're going to have to go check her out. There's so many people that have inspired me. I just want to share a few names with you. Um, go check them out. They are amazing crafters and just amazing people too. You know how you can just tell when you're watching somebody that you can just tell that they are um, they're good folks. You know, they're good folks. A lot of a lot of the people in the crafting DIY Dollar Tree all of us are kind of we're pretty much good folks you know you'll get your meanies once in a while on your comments but for the most part we all support each other we all love each other and um, it's just an amazing family so I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you subscribe below, hit the bell so that YouTube will notify you each and every time I upload a video. And you won't want to miss my videos. So, um, and if you like what you see, give me a quick thumbs up too. Comment below if you have any questions or if you would like to see me do um, something special as a craft. Um, and we'll go from there. The last little piece I have for you, I did, I've never seen anybody else haul it. I think it might be brand new this year. I've never seen it before. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it, but I fell in love with it when I saw it. And it just says, blessed and grateful. And it has, I'm going to open it. It has all the little calendar uh, blocks in there for the month. And then it has the days. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I just loved it. So I'm going to open it right now and check it out with you so we can see what it's all about. All right. Let's use this and just dump them in there. So that's what we, that's what came with it. So you can see... It has the little months of the year on a block. And then it has these two blocks with all the numbers. So what is today? Let's see. We'll try to put this back in together. Where's July? There's July. I think it's the 13th. Whoops. And today is June, I mean July 13th. And I don't know if I'll even use it as this, but something told me better grab it if you want to see it ever again. So I grabbed it. They did have different designs. I don't remember, but I love the black and white buffalo check. So I um, picked up this one. I just thought it was adorable. I may never use it this way. I might just use these blocks. I might just use this. I might just use it this way. Who knows? But it was just a cute new find and I thought I had to have that. So it's June 7-3 now, okay? <laughs> So that is it, people. I do have a lot more because I told you I um, had stuff left over for a haul. It's almost 18 minutes, 19 minutes long, this video, so I'm going to cut it off here. I'm going to say goodbye, and everybody go to the Dollar Tree. I don't get paid from the Dollar Tree. I just love the Dollar Tree. It's my favorite place. So I hope you liked my Dollar Tree haul. Stay tuned because I have more Dollar Tree stuff to show you. And I am um, also going to be doing a craft video later. So it's hard to do these videos, then edit them. First you have to save them. That takes forever. I have terrible Wi-Fi, I guess. And then after I save it, then I have to edit it. And then after I edit it, I have to save it again. That's another hour or so. And then once I have it all done and I upload it, it takes almost an hour for me to upload it to um, YouTube. So it is 3 o'clock, so this video probably won't get up until 
8, 9 o'clock, unfortunately. But if you're up, I hope you watch it. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment in the, um, in the comments. And I just love all my supporters. Thanks for being here. I'm new, and uh, we're growing together. So, all right, enough of that. I'm going to say goodbye. We're at 20 minutes. Love you all. Bye. See you next time.